to part two of the questionnaire slash perspective um, kind of video about leveled up and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna. I got again. I got these questions from somebody else who I will not identify, but they know who they are. Uh, about perspective on the show because you know we can't really write questions about ourselves, which we did before. But this is about different perspectives. I want different perspectives of different types of questions. So we're gonna kind of go through them. And this is again for both of us. It's not just for one person. All right. So we'll start with the first question. Uh, what is the hardest thing about making an episode and leveled up? Alex. In regards to my spot, um, like I said, I don't actually produce any of the actual episodes. Okay. I'm the creative uh, idea of where we go direction-wise yeah. and creative consultant. Um, though I do make probably 60 65%. Well, that number's gone down. It used to be a lot bigger of the content as in the clips themselves, uh, which take a fuck ton of time. Um, and I still do a lot, make a lot of those clips by myself, just sitting with my connect in my room. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so that's, that's my job. I just make a lot of the clips and a lot of the directing and how we do like the themes and stuff like that, come up with that. Um, and so I'd say the hardest thing truly about that is just having time to make all those damn clips in a row. I usually have like 50 clips in a row I got to make Making by myself well. in a room where I have, I can't have any noise go off and the connect is so sensitive. So that's, wow. that's, it's a bitch. I think the hardest thing for me, surprisingly, is just the the joke sessions in general because you want to make the best content that you can and just trying to find anything for a gag, even though we've, we, we have done for the most part, but there are just times, oh no, we have to scrap this because we can't think of anything. And you would think p piecing the clips together in the editing booth, that would be the hardest thing, but no, because it's done, all you have to do is just piece it together. So I feel like... Getting the best content you can can be the hardest part, even though for the most part it hasn't been difficult. It just it it just comes to you if yeah. if you agree with me. I kind of agree kind of on that. Like my second hardest as well is that you know when I have the clips at my home, I I do sit there and I try to do the clip, and if I don't do justice, I get upset and I delete it mm -hmm. um, because you know it's all that wasted time, and I honestly don't get that much time because well actually I have a lot of reasons why. But uh, particularly now, but you know, when you come up here and do this, it's the same feeling. When you come up here, you try to make a joke work, and it just doesn't work, and it's like, oh, all that time's wasted. Well, thank God I brought that clip over here not to use it. So it's kind of upsetting and kind of like you know wastes your time, and so it takes a lot out of you. Um, Sweet. Beside that, all right, let's move on to the second question. Is there a game series you wish you could use for recording clips? Um, <sighs> duh. Yes, of course. There's always a game series that I haven't touched on, or he hasn't touched on that I would like to use. Um, like he did the Jack series. I never did that. Um, I've wanted to use Ratchet and Clank series. Never really done that. Yeah. Um, and the reason why is because there's not many for the PS4. There is the remake, but I wasn't really looking forward to it that much. Mm -hmm. As much as I love Ratchet and Clank. Um, so if there was a game series, I mean, that would be one, would be Ratchet and Clank. Um, yeah, I feel like the same on that boat, too. Another series I'd like to use, um, I wanted to get into Tomb Raider. I just, I couldn't, you know. Yeah. I, I don't hate it. I just don't love it and same goes for uncharted i don't hate it it's just i don't know where to start i guess um but if i had to be honest another series i'd like to really start in i mean you did god of war i really wanted to get in god of war mm -hmm. and do the the, the the new one so that would be mine i feel like for me like any uh clips from game series i feel like i want to do eventually i have <laughs> done and they just haven't been released yet so that's just real convenient time for me if there was another type of game series that I would love to do more, though, something related to Burnout, because those games can uh, be yeah. real hella fun. Yeah, and if there's are. real potential from that, there's there not. you go. There's not. But no. I, I did make one clip which was really funny, and so I think... That's probably, not released yet, though. It's coming out, you know. It yeah, is. it is, it is. <laughs> anyway. What is the worst clip you hated working on? Well... Uh, this is hard, but like I said, I, it's, I did talk about it earlier, and I'm going to bring it up one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as he's talking about the clip that made me very frustrated and hated the clip, that wasn't the most frustrated I was. Mm -hmm. Because there's like a, there's, there's levels of frustration. There's the level of frustration where you're so pissed you're about to throw your controller against the wall. And there's the frustration where you're done with something. When you're done with something where you're like, I'm done, I'm done. That's kind of upsetting uh, to me because it's like you don't want to give up on something that you've been working hard on. And for me, it was Monster Hunter. Here's a little fun fact. Um... Matt, Matt himself, you can put a little picture of Matt, but like, hey, what's up? Hey. A little picture, it's like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, Matt himself blames himself for actually making me lose interest in Monster Hunter. It's not his fault at all. It's actually, when I did all those clips for Monster Hunter, like, I got so burnt out by it. I recorded, like, I think over, like, 60 or something clips for that, and we only used maybe, like, 40 of them. 
Uh, I got so burnt out by it that I hated the game. And be- wow. I'm making that's my most hated clip to ever work on. It's because when it makes me hate a game, something is up. And Matt, reason why he blames himself, quick little deviant here, is because when I he got he was playing way way ahead of me because I was just making clips. And he got so higher up level than me when I did quests with him, I did nothing to any of the monsters with him in the game. And it basically set me back so far. But it wasn't his fault. I don't blame him. Mm. Uh, it was the clips, unfortunately. But that's my most hated experience. Okay, well, uh, I can't think of a single clip specifically at the top of my head. I feel like ones that um, tend to get me just a little bit agitated is that ones where not even like the finales but just singular ones where you know you know the punchline you know you've done this gag before and you, you have to do it anyway which obviously i have no problem with but there's just a part of me it's like come on let's move on to something fresh let's mm. let's get a real laugh going um next question i have alex is how did level up get started as a series fun fact it was never going to be a series uh, what? i know cruel cruel cr- crazy uh, it was going to be a movie. Um, so basically, when I did two movies back in the day, which, again, I will never talk about, even though I just talked about it for the second time. So um, I made a movie called The Random Movie, and then I made a second one called The Random Movie 2. It was great. Fun times. And the clips are still on YouTube. Good luck finding them. Uh, so anyway, uh, but in there, there were sequences from games. Uh, there was uh, Dead Space. Uh, ironically, Dead Space being a winner is a best in the best clip category wow. also being in the original movie of okay. some kind and so anyway i made clips of it, it was called the, the many deaths of isaac clark where i just <laughs> recorded every instance he died from something original every boss every character he died originally and so i was in the first movie in the second movie i played skate 2 and i recorded a montage of hit of the character slamming into things at full speed face first very violent and it was funny and so what I wanted to do after that, I was like, you know what? I just want to play a bunch of games since I have the Xbox One. I'm going to make a, sh- I'm going to make a movie. Nothing about video. It's all about video games. And I had total footage. I had an hour and 30 minutes of footage. And so mm. I was like, wow, it's so great. And then I never touched it. <laughs> I never edited it. I never did anything like that. I only did what I did on the Xbox, and I was going to release it as a movie. I had Matt. I had... Uh, I had uh, Jason, I had me, I had my brother, and that was it. And I was going to release it as a movie. I was going to put it together and make a movie out of it. In fact, uh, I don't think you can find the footage for this. It's gone. But in the uh, Watch Dogs, uh, the, the finale in the, in the first one, there was a montage. It was mm-hmm. like a movie about it. There was actually a clip in there where it was. I gave it a legit intermission so people could go to the bathroom or do something in the actual <laughs> movie. And he says, there's this guy banging on some bago drums. And he said, uh, all right, guys, well, this is an intermission, so if you got to use the restroom, be all at it. I just, you just listen to the guy's bongo if you didn't leave anywhere. Wow. And so it was going to be legit. Uh, unfortunately, I cut 45 minutes out of that footage, and there you go. We have a series I don't talk about anymore because it was that whole hour and 30 minutes I never actually worked on. I wow. just gave up on. Wow, that is interesting. And so we'll just jump in the next one because it's also related to this one, but go ahead. Take, okay, so. I guess next question is did you have any idea that you would have made this many seasons slash episodes for leveled up see the previous answer fuck no it was gonna be a movie so no um i actually was gonna like stop it after uh vegan tales i just wanted to get it out there and just leave it as it was wow uh in fact actually uh you don't know that but you also don't know the fact that i, I it was a 50 50 chance i was gonna flip a coin and say all right this is what i want to do instead wow i want to make a new show that's why i rebranded the name because i wanted as much disassociation with that as much as no possible shit. it was just not good quality it was literally made in like 2013 and up and it stopped for like two years mm-hmm. and so i was like you know what let's i said to sam i was like you know what let's rebrand it let's give it a different name let's get something that sounds cooler and doesn't sound like veggie tales <laughs> uh and uh what we'll do is basically every season we'll have a new theme and we won't make that many of them we'll only make them we'll make them pretty short about six to to nine minutes max and then yeah. we'll stop there and so then we'll just keep making episodes and just see how far we can go before we don't want to do it anymore and unfortunately we didn't stop so now we have to continue yeah doing we've it. we've produced technically for leveled up six seasons over the course of two or yeah, three years yeah. so if that's not commitment i don't know what is even the half seasons are can be just like the switching up seasons half seasons are like just as long as the first season aka press a to left when you, think about, <laughs> when it, you yeah. think about they're pretty damn long so uh yeah no i had no idea it was supposed to be a movie it was supposed to stop and <laughs> i was gonna actually completely can it after that and just worry about uh, smfc but uh, you know, it just I just enjoyed doing it for the most part, uh, mm-hmm. and so I just you know, hey, it's getting better and better. Of course, 
Okay, next question. Do you think of the jokes on the spot, or do you have, like, a lot of outtakes going on, ad-libbing, etc.? Uh, it's a mix. Um, yes. For the most part, the idea is on the spot. When I see something funny happen in a game, in fact, Dan asked this, he's like, I don't know how you guys do it. It's like, you see something funny, he's like, you already have an idea what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we're confident what we want to do. Does it always work out? No. But for the most part, the idea is there. It's like, oh, that was funny. I should make a joke about that. Or if I see something like oh, as I'm walking by in the game, I'm like, I can make a joke about that. Let me go talk to a bonsai tree. <laughs> so I go ahead and talk to a bonsai tree. And I, say, and I know you, you, Sam, you told me a lot of times, like, that's set up. Uh, some of them are, yeah. Um, you know, like, some take a lot of time. Fun fact, uh, I, don't, did the, I don't think this joke has come out yet, but we could show it if we want to. There's a joke where uh, it involves, it was in Bloodborne, where you see a bunch of bodies just lying around, and I walk up and I get hit in the face with a rock. And you do know how long it took to set that shit up? I had to kill those two guys, move their bodies in the same spot where the boulder usually lands at the max range, and he kept throwing it over my head. Do you know how long that took? I had to set it up. I had to move the bodies with my own body. I had to walk over until they get over there, which they're in two different spots away from the spot, and then I had to keep looking up and hope to God he hits me in the face. And then it was perfect. It took so long to set that shit up. It was almost not worth it. It took me about... 20 or 30 minutes and then he finally hit me after i think 20 bot shots so the idea is on the spot but the outtakes the ad lipping yeah that happens a lot more now when i come over to record at your house mm -hmm. that is common and that's why we came up with the show let's start this recording so we said fuck it let's just have uh, some jokes along the way and have fun with it and just go with it uh you know and, and it's just a lot of fun but um the idea is on the spot sweet no, you, you add in your fair share. Oh. <laughs> oh, because I guess I'm being asked the questions. Yeah. Whoops. I mean, I guess because say if it's like, no, you know what? Because even if I bring in my own clips, like, I'll let you be the judge of it too because I might have an idea already thought out that could potentially be good humor. But I'm always, I'm always open if you have an idea, you watch the clip, and, you, and if you think of something that's potentially funnier, we go with that. And, um... Yeah, and more or less, like, what you said is pretty much, like, nail in the coffin for, for my experience, too. If I guess if there's any kind of differences, we might have, like, slight differences in humor or how a joke could go, but I don't think there's ever a point where, you know, we've ever gone derail from somewhere, wouldn't no, you say? I'd agree. Is For the most part, is like, when we have a blank, be a blank uh, clip and nothing's on it except for the clip... I call blank slate or empty canvas. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to watch it and to see it's like okay, what, what, what joke would I make or what are you, what are you seeing that is funny and how can we go about that? And there's a lot of times there's like you know you now it's like you know you have a joke made out and you do it and I was like perfect. And there's times like you know say like, hey take a look at this and we watch it. I was like I have an idea and you're like let's go with it. And so that's kind of how we are now for the most part. Right now it's kind of like more in the outtakes and ad libbing. Um, but let's say this, the spirit of now the jokes forever will still be on the spot. But the jokes, how we write them and do them, is always outtakes and outliving. Sweet. All right, final three questions. Uh, this one. Do you ever have any disagreements when making clips creative-wise? Nowadays, think... apparently, disagreements mean, uh, do you, have you guys ever gotten a fight? Did you ever want to punch him in the face? No. We, no. <laughs> no, because we're friends. If we, ha if, we ha if we have disagreements, we talk it out just being like, what if we went to this direction for a joke? You mean like creative-wise? Yes. Yeah, of course. I don't think anyone ever ever not had disagreements when making clips. Creatively-wise. Uh, it's always no. it's like, you know, he has an idea and I say something and it works out mm -hmm. that way. Yeah, sure. Um, I've had it where like I had a clip. There's actually I can think of several clips where it's like I had a clip. I didn't. I didn't like. It. He's like, hold on, let me try something. You do it. I'm like, that's a lot better. Let's go with yeah. that. And so it's like my idea did not work. His idea did not work. It just that's how it works. So, I mean, that's the thing. Called if anything, if you can call it a disagreement, that's as far as it goes. We've never done anything that's physical. We'll be like fisticuffs. I'll give you a hint. If we start punching each other, I don't think there'd ever be a show to continue with. So well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah, I don't think it will because we're logical mm -hmm. <laughs> and we don't, we don't have no reason to punch each other. There in the you face. go. So, All right. So next question, I guess. I guess so. Uh, do you want to change anything moving forward with the show? Like 
a sense of focus, collaboration with other people, the quantity of videos. Can we honestly, this is probably the hardest question, mm -hmm. aside from probably the next one. Uh, quantity of videos? All right, I said this one. Quantity of videos? No. I think we're a good number uh, mm -hmm. per season. I think Absolutely. it's solid. I have nothing to change. Collaborations. I'm always up for someone willing to collab with us or do things or voice in a video. I, I'm all for it, as, as we talked about earlier in our offer to somebody early on. So, um, <laughs> uh, put, a time, put a timestamp here. Put a fun Jack. It's not even in here. Jack Septicai. Whoops. Whoops. He will not accept our offer. Darn. He has banned us from YouTube. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, but focus, uh, you know. I mean, if I want to focus my uh, efforts towards like something else a little bit, like a spinoff, I'm all for the idea. Mm -hmm. But for now, I don't know, I'm happy where I am. But hey, you have different perspectives. So Sam, lay it on me. You could. I mean, the for the most part, yeah. You you have a focus for where the show wants to go anyway. So I trust you with that, and I completely agree. In the terms of editing, uh, putting this stuff together, I guess if I want to change anything, it will be giving the style. Of whatever clips we have in the future a little more identity like if i want to do more visual guys more zoom ins just like i've been watching videos recently where they take a lot <coughs> a lot of advantage with um you know visual stuff like that and it works out even more better than if it was say like vanilla flavored if you get my meaning mm. so i want to take more inspiration for that if it calls for it but um yeah otherwise you you once again you you nailed it i think we're at a good place right now and if anything should come up in the future, which we can take advantage of or just we're comfortable going with, absolutely. Perfect utilization of zooming in or any effects which are perfect is the Come Here Big Boy clip. I don't need to say anything else. You can probably put in a little gif there of what it looks like. Oh. Come Here Big Boy. I'm pretty much just the perfect summation of using good editing skills. Sweet. And last one. What lessons have you learned from making Leveled Up? Uh... A tough one, tougher uh, than the last one, absolutely. I, tougher than the last one, I guess. Uh, my main lesson that I have learned is um, let other people take the limelight sometimes. Uh, you know, um, on a clip, uh, you never know, it could be made better. There's a lot of times where I've been proven wrong, and uh, I like that when a clip ends up being better. I'm like, uh, there's been a lot of instances actually, this has happened a lot lately mm -hmm. where we go through a clip, and in my mind, I'm like, I, I want to redo it, I didn't like it, and then we listen back, I'm like. Oh, never mind. It sounds fucking hysterical. I love it. Let's keep it. That's happened a lot lately. Uh, yeah. It's maybe a, maybe it's a mix of like we've been on this clip for far too long, and I want to move on. And maybe it's because you know maybe just you know let things happen, and that's been a lot lately. We just let it happen. Let someone else add. Let, let someone else to their own pick. That's happened a lot actually at my house when me and Jason are recording. Jason's like, I, I got something. I got something. It's like I I don't doubt it. Or I was like, no, let's go with the original plan. I'm like, all right, go for it. Because mm -hmm. if a clip gets done, it gets done. And if it's funny, it's funny. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, it uh, doesn't work. <laughs> so it usually go, takes multiple takes. We do it a lot. If someone's not satisfied with their take, you've done it a lot. We do it again. And I'm not upset with it because I can just redo what I did. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I could do it better. Um, I know uh, when Dan was recording, there was a clip. Uh, it was Emmy, Emily wants to play too. Um, it was press A to laugh joke, uh, uh, press A to play joke. She did it multiple times. Um, she wasn't satisfied with it. I, I, hey, I, I can understand that. And you're not always satisfied with something. Mm -hmm. And uh, she didn't like hearing the sound of her voice initially. Uh, it happens. So, you know, if you don't like how something sounds or if it comes off really, really, really bad, uh, I get it because everyone goes through those phases. But definitely in the aspect of letting someone take over and jump in, it's good to have multiple takes because mm -hmm. the joke could be funnier. It could have a different perspective. It, it just works out. It the, really builds up on the creative relationship between the crew, even if you're not realizing it. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things where it's like you kind of need to let the juices flow. Mm -hmm. Just let the ideas just start passing around because you never know. It could be hysterical. Yeah. Um, you know, we like I said, Sam said earlier, we had different styles of, to jokes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes either the simplest thing could work out. Sometimes something ambitious could work out. It just depends on the joke. And that's why I, I said I prefer working here because at least we spitball ideas. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know, with him, he gets to edit how it sounds. And I listen to it. I'm like, perfect. Mm -hmm. And if not perfect, I'm like, not perfect. <laughs> and so then we redo it. It's like, let me redo mine. Let me get a different take. Maybe I can get it to sound better. Or I did it too quickly. Um, you know, and say I think it's an important lesson. Is, you know, you know, create being creative and open to ideas is a very important part of life, because um, you never know. You could come at something with a different angle, and bam, you've just solved the problem in a different way you never thought you could do it. Wow, so. 
I guess for me, like, I've learned this from you, absolutely. And this is coming from my background over 10 years of making videos, my own content, what have you. Sometimes <coughs> the simplest joke is the more effective way to go. Just, like, you don't need to try hard with your jokes. Just, um, you don't need to think, like, oh, do I, can I, do I need to make a reference here? Do I need to grow really big with this? I mean, those times can work if the situation calls for it. But from what you told me... If, Sometimes something so simple can be so memorable looking back on it, and it just, it'll just it just make you laugh every time. Yeah, well, um, you know, it's just... If a joke sticks, it sticks. Mm -hmm. And it's, it sticks with you for a while. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know how many times you guys quote any shit that we end up watching? You know yeah. how many times we quote that? <laughs> we all do it. It's like, <laughs> if something sticks, it sticks. Um, and so I just think this is important to the joke. Um, so we'll stop here. This is the, all the questions... That Mr. Perspective, Mrs. Perspective, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, gave us. Um, we're now doing the top 10 games that we love using to record clips. Which, which we need to rank here because I'm, I'm actually very curious. Of what he actually said earlier, I'm actually very curious. Okay.